What's good everybody? I'm in the gym. Got a quick upper body day, a few pushes, a few pulls. Uh, and then I'm going down to the pool where I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about how to build muscle. <laughs> um, there's a lot to it guys. I'm going to try and make it as easy and as sound as possible for you to listen to. So anyway, I'll see you guys down by the pool. I don't need to show you this workout because you've seen it all before. I just want to film this set. New PR. This is five sets, eight reps, pause reps on a hundred. Check this. What's good guys? Right, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about muscle building today. It's, it's pretty straightforward on paper, but obviously in reality, there's a lot of difficulties to it. First of all, to gain weight, what do we need to do? In order to gain weight, we need to eat more calories than we spend in a day. So let's say I burn 1,000 calories a day, and I consume 1,000 calories a day, I'm not gonna change weight. But if I burn 1,000 calories a day, and I eat 2,000 calories a day, that's when I'm going to gain weight. Albeit if I don't do any exercise and I just sit on my ass all day, I'm going to gain fat. The combination of eating more calories than you burn a day with progressive training will lead to muscle building. By progressive training guys, I mean we're always making progress in the gym. We're always adding one set to the, to the exercise, we're adding one rep to the exercise or we're increasing the weight on every exercise we do. So if I go in every Monday and I hit 100 kilos on bench press, like my body will get used to that after a couple of weeks. If I go in one week and I do 100 kilos, the next week I try 105, and the next week 110, that's when my body, my body is forced to grow. In putting more pressure through the muscle that it's used to, so it's used to 100 kilos, and now I put 105 kilos on, oh, my body's going, oh, I'm not used to this weight, it's a slightly heavier. Now I'm gonna to have to grow. That's the way the body works, it's extremely clever. So if you go in and you're doing the same things in and out every single week, you won't gain anything. You know, I know so many people who haven't made much progress in the gym because they go in and they do the same routine every single week and they say they work hard because they get a sweat. Like cool, you can get a pump, you can get a sweat, but are you really breaking down the muscle fibers? Because I could give you, you know, I could give you a Domino's pizza, go take do 10 sets of arms and that'd be it, you'd get the biggest pump of your life. But are you really doing the muscle any good when you are you really breaking down the fibers in the muscle and causing them to have to grow another thing guys along with the changing of weight and the progressing in the gym of um, adding weights adding reps adding sets also want to change the exercises your body will also get used to this movement extremely well and extremely fast doing a bench press so if you suddenly go it like if you go in every single day first thing you do is this Maybe, you know, in three, four weeks time, you go in, you start doing flies and that kind of thing, you know, because that's when your body's going, oh shit, what's happening? Like, I have to, I have to change now because I'm not used to this. I have to, I've been being forced to grow right now. The way I train every three to four weeks, I train, I change my program. For example, one, one set of three, four weeks, I'll do a powerlifting routine, you know, three to five reps, real heavy weights, maybe one, a couple of one reps. After three to four weeks, I'll change that and I'll go back up to the hypertrophy and I'll do 10, 11, 12 reps. And you know what, even three, four weeks after that, I could even be, end up doing 20 reps. Like I've been doing now, lots of high volume. And you know what, my muscles are killing me every single time. Many people have the problem of, oh, I can't gain weight no matter what I do. I train hard, I eat more, and uh, I eat so much, I eat more than anyone else. You don't. You really don't eat as much as anyone else. Keep eating, keep eating, add more. If you're not gaining weight, add another meal. If you're not gaining weight again, add another meal. That's the way it is, guys. The skinny you are, the more you're gonna have to eat in order to gain weight. If you don't gain weight, eat more. Another thing, a lot of people say, oh, oh, uh, my legs are really sore, my legs are really sore, and then uh, they'll increase their training, and their legs will get less sore. And you know why? It's because the legs are accommodating the increased frequency of training. So now they know that they need to repair quicker, 
and they need to work harder in order to get ready for the next leg session because they know it's coming. That's another trick that you can do, increasing frequency, increasing volume, and increasing rep ranges and increasing weight. Another thing guys, too many people rely on protein shakes and supplements. It's all bullshit. I did not take one supplement when I did my bulk, not one. Oh, actually, that's a lie, I did creatine. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't have any whey protein shakes, no casein shakes. All I did was just eat, eat, and eat because I, I'm a big eater anyway. I know that people, some people aren't big eaters, but I am a big eater and I, and I just kept going, kept going, kept going. Another technique you guys can use if uh, you're really struggling to put on weight is at a rest day. It may sound stupid, but I know people who used to going to, going to the gym six, seven times a week and now they're struggling to add weight on because they're still going to the gym six, seven times a week. Go to the gym twice, take a rest. Go to the gym twice more, take a rest. Go to the gym twice more, take a rest. And you'll find that in those rest days, if you keep your calories the same, because you're working out less, you're burning less calories, you're going to put on a lot more weight and build a lot faster. And also you'll find the day after those rests, you're going to be very strong, especially if you're consuming a lot of calories. General rule of thumb, guys, one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So when I'm bulking, I was 95 kilos, which is around 204 pounds. Probably wrong there. So I had around 200 grams of protein every day minimum. I hit my, my protein and the rest of it can be filled with fats, can be filled with carbs. People are scared of carbs, but when you're trying to build muscle, carbs are the one. They're the fuel for you to grow, they're the catalyst for you to grow. They transport all the proteins and the fats through your veins, through your muscle. Guys, never be afraid of carbs. I went up to 600, 700 grams of carbs a day. Uh, you do want to be a bit careful overindulging in carbs because I know that you can become carb intolerant and very sensitive to carbs when it comes to cutting. So it can be that oh, you're on 200 carbs and you're gaining weight and you're thinking, oh shit, what's going on? But that's because you've just abused the carbs. And the carbs that I always had, guys, I never, you know, I didn't have all this sh all the Domino's and McDonald's. Okay, I did, but within moderation after a big, big session as well. I made sure it was always after a leg session or a big chest back session. You definitely don't want to be having the majority of your nutrition from foods like that. You are what you eat guys, there's no, there's no other way about it. If it fits your macros, for sure, I'm a big advocate of that because I often do that, you know. I often just try to fit my macros around things that I want because I, I love flavor, I love food, I love to eat. So I can't deal with chicken, rice, broccoli five times a day, that's not me. So I believe in if it fits your macros, but I also believe in you are what you eat. Try to stay as clean as possible while you're trying to gain muscle. It can actually help you to have a bad meal at once and again because um, we do need fats to grow. We do need fats for a testosterone boost as well. Uh, another thing that's overlooked often, guys, drinking water. Drink tons of water. Keep drinking water because water funnels everything through your body. We are 80% water, guys. Our muscles are 75% water. So if you don't drink much water, your muscles will not grow. Keep drinking water, keep eating your carbs, hit your minimum grams of protein, and also you have to stay in a calorie surplus, guys. That is it, you have to stay in a calorie surplus. If you find that from the calculations that you've made online or in calculators or however you worked out your maintenance levels, you're not gaining weight, it's often that these calculators aren't exactly accurate, so you can have to work out yourself. So you'll know that if you're hitting the maintenance of the calorie cal calculator, and you're not, and you're, uh, and you're losing weight. You know it's wrong, and you know, you know that you need to up the calories, and vice versa as well. Last but not least, guys, and I left this last on purpose. Probably the least important, the one that I would least advise you to do. If you really can't get the food in, and you really can't eat that much, then then you could get a mass gainer. But with the mass gainer, it is a shit load of carbs. The problem means there could be good carbs. You know, like the um, I think the ON mass gain is pretty pretty good actually because it's quite low in sugars. I would heavily suggest you to drink this throughout the day rather than all in one go. Your body can't absorb that many carbs and it can't absorb that much protein. If you're eating all of it at once, like it's gonna just pass it through. It's not gonna be utilized whatsoever. I highly recommend you just to sip up throughout the day so you're getting those extra calories in if you can't. I've probably missed a few points there guys. Um, definitely if you do have more suggestions for people that are, that are going to be watching this video, put them in the in the comments below just so they can read them. I'll thumb them up so like they're at the top of the, the comments. This is all about helping people, guys. If you do like these videos, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you at the next video. Peace.